Please have a seat. Uh, I have to say what an incredible pleasure it is to be able to sit down with uh, Prime Minister Scarrett Roosevelt. You've been uh, such a good friend for so long, but particularly uh, your leadership on uh, in CARICOM right now in facilitating this meeting, uh, in making sure that uh, that it is has been a tremendous success so far. Uh, you know the the full attendance, the engagement, the uh, uh, all the preparatory work to make sure this happened. This was really on. Uh, on, on your leadership, and it was great to work with you on this. Uh, I know uh, you have, of course, top of mind as we're talking about climate change and the impacts of extreme weather events. Uh, top of mind, the, the storm that's bearing down on Dominica right now, and uh, uh, our thoughts are with you and, and with uh, everyone there. Uh, but the opportunity to come together as uh, friends, as a community, uh, to talk about uh, the future of the region and the deep, deep friendship between uh, Canada and CARICOM uh, is, uh, is exemplified by uh, all of your leadership and, uh, and I'm really pleased to, to be able to be with you here. It's a great pleasure to be with the President of CARICOM, the uh, uh, Premier Minister Roosevelt Scarrett of uh, Dominique. It's an opportunity to work on all the issues that are common and that Qui, uh, qui soutiennent nos, nos relations et nos, uh, nos objectifs ensemble. Well, thank you, um, Prime Minister. And of course, it's a pleasure for us to be here in Canada with the Canada CARICOM Summit, or the first time we've had a summit uh, in Canada. I mean, the reality is Canada remains a, a very close ally of Dominican and Caribbean community. And we've always valued uh, the relationship, uh, the collaboration that we've had. And rest assured, from Dominica's perspective, the actual shall strengthen and deepen. Uh, we value your, your provision of your voice in, in fora that we are not present, you know, and you have been able to echo our, our, our concerns, our sentiments, and our uh, suggestions on how we can address uh, global issues uh, together. So on, on all fronts, Canada has been a, a really true friend of Dominica and the Caribbean. And uh, uh, all spheres of our economic and social advancement in the Caribbean community in Dominica is Canada footprint in there. And um, uh, the summit has certainly reinforced uh, those sentiments and, and those commitments on, on both sides. And, and Canada can rest assured it has um, some very strong uh, and sincere friends uh, in the Caribbean community, uh, Dominica included. Uh, the number of issues that we're working on in Haiti, the issues of climate change, the issues of the uh, new um, architecture for the international financial institutions, yes. and on all of these fronts, all of these fronts, and Canada is, is, is at, the, at the front uh, providing uh, support, leadership, and uh, guidance, and so we look forward to, to us continue working together on addressing these issues. Uh, so Prime Minister, it's a pleasure to be here. Unfortunately, I have to leave. Um, these are the realities that we are faced with. Yes, um, that's the climate change. It proves the point that that's we're right. talking about. Uh, yeah. um, and, and so it's, uh, for us in the Caribbean, it is, it is priority number one. Uh, and if you were to ask us, it's priority number two. Uh, <laughs> 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 we're very happy to be here. And um, we wish you all the best in the Thank you. Thank you very much, media, once again. Thank you, Janice. Good to see you.